12 lead ECG is an important cardiac diagnostic investigation. It should be performed by trained members of staff to avoid inaccuracies in interpretation of the ECG. The training program is aimed at healthcare professionals who have been asked by the line manager to perform a 12 lead ECG in their diagnostic area. Part one of this program is the podcast. This will aim to demonstrate how to perform a 12 lead ECG with accurate limb and chest lead placements. Part two is hands-on experience, which will be organized by a line manager or through the induction process. Part three will be an observational assessment in which when you are successful, you will receive a certificate to take away with you. Your equipment must be kept clean and well maintained at all times in accordance with trust policy and infection control. Before you perform an ECG, you must also adhere to the trust hand washing policy. Before you perform an ECG, you must make sure that the battery is fully charged. The battery icon on this ECG machine shows what will happen when the battery is not fully charged. It is important that you check that the correct date and time is also present on your ECG machine. It is important that you check the standard settings on your ECG machine before you use it. These are the paper speed, which is 25 millimetres per second. It is a calibration, which is 10 millivolts and it is the filter which is 150 hertz. Good morning Mr Bond, my name's Karen. I've come to do a 12 lead ECG today on you. Before performing a 12 lead ECG, it is important that you gain consent from your patient by asking their permission to carry on with the investigation. You must also check the patient's details with the patient, which includes the name, the hospital number and the date of birth. It is important that the patient understands that this is a painless procedure and they will be asked to lie in a relaxed, comfortable position on an examination couch or bed. As the patient will be undressed from the waist up, it is important that the privacy and dignity, inclusion and diversity policies are adhered to at all times. Before starting the ECG, skin preparation may be required. This may be the use of an alcohol wipe, an abrasive pad or a razor. This is to ensure that we have a good quality ECG. The ECG you are about to see demonstrated is in accordance to all national guidelines standards. Limb leads are placed both on the ankle and the wrist. Precordial chest positions are very specific. V1 is placed in the fourth intercostal space close to the right sternal border. V2 is placed in the fourth intercostal space on the left sternal border. V4 is placed in the mid-clavicular line in the fifth intercostal space. V3 is placed midway between V2 and V4. V5 is placed anterior auxiliary line on a horizontal line with V4. V6 is placed mid-auxiliary line horizontal to both V4 and V5. Once the ECG leads are placed in the correct position, wait for the trays to settle so there is no muscle artifact or baseline sway. Then press the record button. Once you are happy with your ECG recording, disconnect the leads and remove the electrodes. Clean your equipment and then pass your ECG to the requesting clinician. This concludes part one of the ECG training podcast. If you would like to contact the department for any further training, please ring extension 2445. Thank you.